Post-exposure prophylaxis, PEP is shield against HIV after potential exposure. Imagine this, you experience a needle stick injury involving an unknown needle, or have unprotected sex with someone you suspect might have HIV. Fear and uncertainty about potential HIV infection grip you. But there's hope, in the form of a powerful tool called post-exposure prophylaxis, PEP. PEP is a short-term course of antiretroviral medication. ARVs, taken after a potential exposure to HIV. These medications, typically used to treat HIV-positive individuals, can significantly reduce the risk of HIV infection if taken within 72 hours of exposure. Think of it as a protective shield quickly erected to block the virus from establishing itself in your body. How does PEP work, HIV, after entering your body, needs time to replicate and spread? PEP disrupts this crucial early stage by interfering with viral entry. ARVs prevent the virus from entering your cells. Blocking viral replication, once inside a cell. ARVs hinder the virus's ability to make copies of itself. Boosting your immune system, ARVs can stimulate your immune system to fight off the virus more effectively. When is PEP considered? PEP is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's crucial to understand that PEP is recommended only in specific situations with a significant risk of HIV infection, like needle stick injuries involving HIV contaminated needles or syringes, sexual assault involving unprotected anal or vaginal intercourse with an HIV positive partner or someone of unknown HIV status, tearing of a condom during anal or vaginal intercourse with an HIV positive partner, TLD, Tenofovir, Lamivudine, Dalutagravir, Therapy. This specific antiretroviral combination can be used as PEP for oral. Sex exposures involving ejaculate from an HIV-positive partner. Factors influencing PEP use, several factors influence whether PEP is recommended, including Type of exposure, the risk of HIV transmission varies depending on the exposure type, e.g., needle stick versus unprotected sex. Time since exposure, the sooner PEP is initiated, the higher its effectiveness. Ideally, it should be started within 72 hours of exposure, but can be initiated up to 3 days, 72 hours, in some cases. Likelihood of the source being HIV positive, knowing the HIV status of the source partner can help assess risk. Individual health factors, pre-existing medical conditions or allergies to ARVs may influence PEP suitability. Taking PEP, if PEP is recommended, a healthcare professional will prescribe a specific combination of ARVs to be taken for 28 days. It's crucial to start PEP as soon as possible, every hour counts. Take all medications exactly as prescribed, missing doses can compromise PEP's effectiveness. Report any side effects, ARVs can cause side effects like nausea, fatigue, or headaches. Inform your doctor if you experience any bothersome side effects. Get tested for HIV, PEP does not guarantee prevention. It's essential to get tested for HIV 3 months after exposure and again at 6 months. Remember, PEP is an emergency measure, not a substitute for safe sex practices. PEP does not protect against other sexually transmitted infections, STIs. PEP is confidential, your healthcare provider is bound by patient confidentiality laws. Conclusion, while HIV infection can be a devastating reality, PEP offers a beacon of hope and a powerful tool for prevention. Understanding the situations where PEP is recommended, its mechanism of action, and how to take it effectively can empower individuals to make informed decisions and potentially avert HIV infection.